Hello everyone and welcome back to another easy text animation in PowerPoint tutorial, which is inspired by Matt Voice Animation at Behance.net. Before continuing with this video, I will recommend you to watch our tutorial about how to convert text to shapes in PowerPoint and how it could be useful while making animations in PowerPoint. So, let's get started, and first, we will take a new presentation with a blank layout. Here, I will type the text that I want to animate either using word art or you can also insert a text box. Changing the formatting like font style, font size, and character spacing. Now, we will draw a rectangle on top of our text by moving to the insert tab and then choose rectangle shape from the shapes drop down menu. Send the rectangle behind the text by clicking on Send to Back command from the Shape Format tab. Select the rectangle first and then hold down the Shift key while selecting the text. Move to the Shape Format tab and from the Merge Shapes drop down menu, choose the Fragment command. With the Fragment command, you will get all the letters as separate shapes whereas if you will use the intersect command then it will convert the text into a single shape. Delete the rectangle in the parts of the fragmented shape that you don't want. Go to the shape format tab and change the fill color, outline color, and outline width. We will now apply the up motion animation effect from the animations tab and will then adjust the length of the path as required. Open the animation pane and set the effect to start with previous, while having a duration of 2 seconds. Double click the effect from the animation pane to open the effect options window and enable auto reverse while having the default smoothness for start and end. From the Timings tab, set the Repeat until the end of the slide option. If it seems fine to you then it is time to apply the same effect to the rest of the shapes, and you do not need to apply everything from scratch instead you can use the Animation Painter to replicate the same effect on the rest of the shapes. Select the shape having the effect and then click the Animation Painter twice, and now start clicking on the rest of the shapes one by one. You only need to add a delay timing between these effects like 0.25 seconds delay for the second shape, 0.50 seconds for the third, and 0.75 seconds for the fourth shape. You can now apply a slide background color by right clicking on an empty area of the slide and choosing format background. You can also apply a shadow to the shapes and can configure different shadow options. as we now have one set ready and now we need to make more replicates of these shapes. So, use the copy and paste command from the home tab to create a duplicate. Then adjust their position, change the fill color, and send to back from the shape format tab. If you open the animation pane then you can see that the duplicated shapes already have the same animation effects and you only need to adjust the delay timings. For the first duplicated shape, we will use 0.25 seconds delay. For the second shape 0.50 seconds. For the third shape 0.75 seconds. And for the fourth shape 1 second. See the slideshow and there you have it. Now, repeating the same steps you can create more duplicates, and you only need to adjust the delay timings for each of the set of four duplicated shapes. Let me show you that one more time. Select the shapes and then use copy and paste to make a duplicate. Adjust the position, change the fill color, and then send them back. Now start adding a delay to the effects. For this third set of shapes, 
I will add a delay of half a second to the first shape, then 0.75 seconds to the second, 1 second to the third, and 1.25 seconds to the fourth shape. So, I hope you will find this video informative and interesting. Let me know by liking, sharing, and commenting. Subscribe to our channel as there are a lot more tutorials to come. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye and take care.